Hey guys, good morning. Um, we went out and picked up some Creon, which is my enzymes that I take when I eat. Uh, I'm going to eat here in a second, so I'll show you guys them in case you haven't seen them. And picked up some more Ensure, so I've got enough to last me about six days, drinking two a day. And now I am waiting for my meal to cook so I can take or campy. And I'm going to do my best, and then I can relax. <laughs> um, the storms last night didn't end up being as bad as we thought. Uh, it was just a bunch of rain, but... So I got Princess back outside now. It's not even raining anymore. Um, but like I predicted, it's muddy, so probably won't be spending much time outside today. And uh, that's all I got. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so these are the Creon that I was telling you about. I take them with, I take uh, two to three with meals, two to one with snacks, and three with feeds. Um, because of CF, my pancreas is blocked by mucus, and so I cannot make enzymes myself. So these actually come from pigs, and they help me digest my food. Hey guys, so since I showed you, I showed you what the Creon do, I thought I'd show you this because it's time for me to take it. It's a 50,000 unit vitamin D wafer, and I'll show you, I'll open it up here. So it looks like this, and it's just a little chewable, it doesn't taste that bad, it tastes like orange. Um, <clears throat> because also with CF, we are deficient in the fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, because um, our body doesn't absorb fat well. Um, we have a special pill called ADEC that gives specifically A, D, E, and K. It's a CF vitamin. But I am particularly deficient in vitamin D. So I take 50,000, one of these a week, 50,000 units of vitamin D a week. And um, so yeah, little CF factoid for the day. Hey guys, so I just realized something totally crazy. Um... <clears throat> I started my vlogs October 5th, uh, 2015. So once we hit March 5th, I will have been doing this for five months. And it does not feel that long. Uh, it's been an amazing journey that I want to continue, you know. <clears throat> I'm going to college this fall, but still planning on vlogging even when I go to college. So. Uh, thank you guys for your support because I couldn't have done it without you guys and It's just been really an amazing journey and I'm so glad I decided to start because now I, I definitely I don't want to stop so um, You know when I started this it was only supposed to be Two weeks the first two weeks on our can be that was what I was going into with the mental and here I am now almost five months out and loving every day of doing it so Thank you guys for supporting this, and we're going to keep going. So, that's all I got to say for now. Hey guys, so my mom actually brought home Subway. I don't usually eat a lot of Subway, but this is the second day in a row, not that I'm complaining. Um, so I've got a rotisserie chicken sub this time. It's a new one they just launched two days ago. So, uh, it's chicken, onions peppers, tomato, and honey mustard sauce. It's really good. So, go ahead and enjoy this because I am quite hungry. And I'll see you guys later. Guys, I wanted to do something a little different. I want to show you all my medications that I do um, weekly, monthly, daily. All the medications that I use to keep me healthy and how they do that. So we're going to start with the uh, nebulized antibiotics and medications are missed. These are the ones that I breathe in through a little machine. Uh, this is albuterol. It's pretty common. I do two puffs before every vest treatment. Sometimes if I need to pick me up, <coughs> I'll do two <coughs> in between the two treatments. <coughs> um, albuterol basically opens up the alveoli and bronchi little bronchioles in my lungs. <coughs> it makes it easier to get out the mucus. <coughs> so... Typically about four puffs of albuterol <coughs> a day. Um, this is Kasten. It's one of my uh, nebulized antibiotics. Uh, you can do Kasten every other month. So I just finished around uh, February. And then I'll do it again in April. 
uh, it's done three times daily when you're on it, but it's really fast. It's like two minutes per little vial, so it's really easy. Um, this helps keep the Pseudomonas and the staph that's in my lungs at bay. It can help kill some of it and prevent me having to go to the hospital or hospitalizations. Uh, you can only do it every other month because it can damage your liver, but it hasn't so far, so. The months I'm not on Kasten, I'm on Tobramycin, which is another antibiotic. The Pseudomonas in my lungs is actually resistant to Tobramycin, but talking it over with my CF team, it's better to do Tobramycin when I'm not on Kasten than not do anything. So this is also flipped every other month. I'm doing it in March. I'll do it again in May. Um, and the reason for that is because it can damage your hearing, but also, thankfully, Tobermycin I've had no problems with besides uh, resistance. This is Pomazyme. It's done once daily, all the time, every day of my life. Um, it helps thin the mucus that's in my lungs and makes it easier to get out and prevents it from sitting down there and causing infection. So those are the nebulized or missed um, antibiotics and medications and then the albuterol puff. Over on this plate, it represents the amount of pills I take every day. So there's 26 here, but honestly, guys, it doesn't feel like that many. And, you know, there's a lot, there's people a lot worse off than me. Um, so this is the Creon. I explained them earlier. Because my pancreas is blocked by mucus, I cannot digest my food without these. Uh, they come from pig pancreas. So this is about a day's worth of enzymes. Three meals, two snacks, and a tube feeding. So that's, there's 11 Creon. Uh, this is Orcambi. I do this. This is the reason these vlogs started. You've heard about Orcambi a lot. <coughs> uh, it's a recent medication. It came out last July. Uh, two in the morning and two at night. It helps balance the salt. <clears throat> levels in my cells because with cystic fibrosis the CFTR gene is affected and or can be helps kind of balance out the salt levels and thins out the mucus this is a acid reducer it helps uh, reduce acid and prevents uh, ulcers and stuff that's also what this one does reninidine um, Renitidine also helps prevent acid reflux. I had horrible acid reflux as a baby, and a lot of people with CF can get acid reflux. So the um, renitidine and these help prevent acid. Um, this right here is an allergy pill, just taken once daily. <clears throat> I used to just be on <laughs> Claritin, but or can be actually can cancel out the effects of Claritin. So I'm on this one now. I don't even know the name. It's just an allergy pill. Um, this is loratadine, and it is also helpful with allergies. Uh, or can be does not cancel this one out. So those two are allergy pills. <clears throat> this is ciproheptadine. It makes me hungry. I call it my hungry pill. Um, it's cut. I do half in the morning and half at night. So a whole pill to represent that. Because uh, with CF, you can have a suppressed appetite. So this helps increase my appetite. This is the ADEC vitamin, A, D, E, and K, the fat soluble vitamins that a lot of CFers have trouble uh, getting enough of. So these uh, are disgusting and nasty tasting, but they give A, D, E, and K. So one in the morning and one at night. It is basically a CF vitamin. That's what it was tailored for. <coughs> this is Ursodile, and this pill is very important because or combi or can be and Kasten can uh, damage your liver, and Ursodil protects my liver. It helps keep my liver healthy. So these two uh, pills are very important. So that is what I would take daily as far as pills. Um, also daily I have two nasal sprays. This is because I have problems with nasal polyps. Uh, this is like a, this is just a regular saline spray. This is like some kind of, I'm not really sure. I just know I puff it up my nose. It's some kind of Thing to prevent polyps and it's worked because ever since I've been on it uh, I have not had any nasal polyps. My last nasal polyp surgery was when I was 13 so quite a while ago four years. And lastly this which I told you guys about take once once a week it's 50,000 units of vitamin D so that's that's really easy just once a week. <coughs> so that is what uh, cystic fibrosis 